Hey, welcome and good morning. We are back on the Dead Lakes. Um, anyways, hey, I've got a quick question for you. How many people have driven 22 and a half miles and forgot their fishing rods at home? Raise your hand. Yeah, so it's a late morning for me this morning. All I can do is smile about it, but I'm on the water and uh, let's go. We're gonna be doing some spinnerbait fishing and uh, I have a pretty good feeling about today, so. First little victim for the day. Not a big one, but uh, hey, settle down. But definitely wants the spinnerbait. All right, he's about eight, ten inches, something like that. You know, not gonna measure him, but anyways, off we go and let's get his big sister. Nasty pickerel. Damn big one. All right, come here. Yeah, so that's the biggest pickerel I've ever gotten here. Yeah, so that's a for here. That's a nice pickerel. Um, I can't remember catching one this big. And uh, yeah, he's, I don't know, let's measure him just for the heck of it. See how big this pickerel is. Yeah, he's a 23 inch pickerel. So that's the biggest one I've got here. All right. I only threw the worm for a little while, maybe 100 yards. Just wasn't feeling it. Uh, anyways, went back to the spinnerbait. Little guy, but sign of life. So I have today and next Sunday to catch two of my fish for the Shane Flynn Outdoors five bass draw tournament. So I entered my three fish. I honestly don't know what place I'm in. I really haven't checked. Um, but I'm working Saturdays right now, so I've got a, I got a free, two free Sundays, and then that's it. So I need, my big fish that I put in was 20 inches, so I need a anything, two fish bigger than 20 inches, whatever that gets, that gets. Um, you know, and I wish all the other competitors good luck. I heard there's some good uh, measurements, but I really couldn't tell you exactly what they are, but I've got a long way to go, so I really need to catch like two 24 inch fish, which, that's probably not going to happen, but we're having fun doing it. Well, yeah, this is the nicest one so far today. Not a monster, not a monster, but one of the nicer ones. And he comes in right at 14 and a quarter. So I just switched over that, that bank over there was uh, starting to get real shallow. And I looked over and all of a sudden the bank just came up and there's houses here. So there's nice docks, it's a steep cliff. I'd rather have a nice drop off than that shallow stuff over there. And so, let him go, and now I need one six inches bigger. I didn't see it. Ow. Both in. Ah. 
It's not a huge one, but it's enough to drive me nuts. Sorry I didn't have the camera pointed in that way. So, hey, hey, knock it off. Tearing my stuff up. So, that's a decent one. He's probably five pounds, six pounds. And uh, let me throw this little guy back before he aggravates me. I hate those things. So I was just on the other side, and there were some splashes in these uh, cypress up here. So I'm going to come and see what it is. And that's what was splashing in there. So if you ever see a fish splashing, obviously they're actively feeding. Go over there and cast in. You're going to have about a 50-50 shot of getting them. He's not a bad one. He's uh, 13 and a half maybe. We'll see. Yeah, so he's 14, so hey, that was worth casting in there all day long, you know, so. I think it took like three casts, but uh, eventually. So I just threw that spinner bait in there about eight, nine times, nothing. First cast with the worm, boom. So I made it all the way back down. Oop. Come here, buddy. Yeah, you might be 10, 11 inches. I made it all the way back down. This is the uh, tree that has been in my last two episodes. The last one, I didn't pull anything off it. The first one I pulled, oh, I'm sorry, the last time, I pulled like six mud fish off it and but you didn't see that and then uh prior to that i picked up uh three bass and one was a uh, a keeper that i used in shane flint uh five bass draw tournament obviously not a little one like that seem to getting any size today and I need size so but it's better than not catching nothing so on we go looking for my big one Fish. So, that's okay. It's okay. At least I didn't have to bring him in the boat. We've been getting bites pretty steady all day. There really hasn't been too much of a downtime. 
It's just uh, small. Yeah, still no size, still just 12 to 14 inches. This one, not even 12, you know, maybe nine or 10. Something ate him. He's got his head. <laughs> Looks like his head was in uh, somebody's mouth and he managed to get out, but uh, good for him. So we, yeah, bad for him though. Now he's got a head sore and a mouth sore.